Hi, I'm Jaden Sher with Ziegler Ag Equipment. We're at Farm Fest this year and we're looking at in front of us the 9924 VE planter. It's, an, it's a 24 row 30 inch spacing planter. Um, big key benefits to this planter, it's a high capacity planter. A lot less, uh, or a lot more time in between fills. You got 1500 gallons of liquid and you got 150 bushels of seed capacity. Big benefits are you got a two 750s. So if you want to do split liquids, in furrow, let's say, or two by two, you got two tanks come factory with this planter, so you have two options. This planter with this big capacity, you need tracks on it. So you got this planter here has 25 inch tracks. You do have a 30 inch track option. It's a camelplast undercarriage. So you have the oscillating bogies forward, back, and side to side. What that's going to do is keep your ground pressure consistent across that whole track, and it's going to carry the weight of this plant, you know, all the capacity in, of this planter. Moving around here, we're going to talk a little bit more about the row unit. So getting more in depth on this, what, what it can do for your op operation to make uh, your planting more consistent. So starting off with just the row unit itself, um, this is right here is uh, your depth adjustment for the row. So you look on here, white has it uh, numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That actually correlates to your depth. So right now, we're in between 1 and 2, we're at an inch and a half. Beginning of the season, you want to calibrate where your depth is. White's one of the only manufacturers that allows you to do that. So what you do is you put a 2x4 under each gauge wheel, and you look at this nut, and if it's loose and this, this rod can move, you tighten this down to calibrate it so you know when you put this row at an inch and a half, you're planting at an inch and a half. The seed depth nowadays, depending on soil moisture, is a really big thing for emergence to make sure that you're at the right depth where moisture is to make sure all the rows are coming up all the seeds coming up at the same time. So that's a really big thing. Tied into your depth, you need a delta force system that will keep your seed and row unit to depth. So with delta force, what that is doing is that's measuring a weigh pin off your gauge wheels. So you can set in the cab what, what weight you want carried on these gauge wheels. That, that cylinder there is going to adjust it to make sure that that's always staying consistent across the whole planter. So when you look at a 24 hole plant, planter, you're actually looking at 24 individual planters. So that's a huge benefit right here. Looking deeper into the row itself, you look at the seed meter. This is a V-set precision planting seed meter. When you're looking at the seed meter, it's an electric drive on it. And this one also has speed tubes, so there's an electric motor on your seed tube as well. But looking at the, the meter itself, tear into it. This one's got a soybean plate in it. This meter will run up to 10 miles an hour, and it will run at 99.9% .9 accuracy when you're running a speed tube. If you're running the wave vision, that's going to be more your standard speed. This is your high speed setup if you're running the belt. And we can take that out so you can take a little more in-depth look at that. But it is a belt system, so when you get into it, it's grabbing your seed, putting it in a chamber. This belt is going to be running at the same speed you're running at on the ground, so when you're going through the field, that seed is actually at a zero speed drop. So when you look at the belt itself, it's carrying that seed down, it's measuring with uh, the sensor here, if there's a seed in the chamber to measure your singulation, and it's carrying it down and throwing it backwards the same speed you're going forward, so that seed is is not moving, it's just dropping straight to the ground. So it, it lands in your trench where you want it. Below the row unit, we have a Keaton seed firmer here. What that is gonna do is that's gonna grab that, that seed that's dropping, this is gonna push that to the bottom of the trench, and it makes sure your seed to soil contact is gonna be uh, firm so that you're getting moisture all the way around the seed, and then you got a closing system that's closing the trench behind it. This, though, is going to keep that seed firmly in the trench. Up in front of the row unit, you got row cleaners here, and this is a floating row cleaner system. But if you look at it, it has a cylinder on it. This is Precision Planting's clean sweep. That allows it from in the cab you can adjust, because to tell you the truth, most guys, when they have a, when they have a row cleaner that's, let's say, a pin setup, they're, they're gonna adjust it one or two times a year because it, it takes a lot of time to adjust 24 rows. This allows you to do it from in the cab. So as the field changes, you may hit a spot where there's residue. You can adjust it from in the cab to keep that furrow clean so when your disc comes through, you're not having trash in your trench. That's gonna give you more yield at the end of the day when your seed's not sitting on trash. So these, this, this setup here is, it's a, it's a big benefit to keep your, your uh, 
furrow clean for planting. Again, we talked about the planter hollow. This is, this is a high, it's a high speed, high capacity planter. It's gonna cut down your time in between fills. This one here setup does have the conveyor option because it is pretty high to get up there. It's a big center fill setup. So this customer wanted to have a conveyor belt because his uh, seed tender would not reach to the top. So this is a conveyor setup. Going off the liquid system, this, this uh, planter has the V-Apply HD kit on it. So every single roll will adjust individually on liquid. So as you turn with this planter, it's gonna cut your liquid rates down on the left side versus the right side, or increase your right side as you're turning, and vice versa. And it's gonna keep all your rates consistent and it will monitor it in the monitor so you know what each row is at and it will keep it right on rate. The, the big thing about this planter also is when you're looking at it, it's six rows across the back, but it is a narrow transport. Most narrow transports are four rows across the back. It's a narrow transport because these rows fold vertical. What that saves is the length of the planter. So if you have any fields that are really tough to get into where you're running through the field and you're dragging these row units down the center because it's a tough driveway approach, these row units are vertical across the planter. You don't have to worry about dragging anything and the length makes it a lot easier to get into those driveway approaches. That's pretty much it about the white 9924. If you have any questions, stop in at your local Ziegler dealership or talk to your uh, Ziegler rep or visit us on, uh, online at www.zieglerag.com. Thanks for uh, spending some time with me here. Have a good day.